Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Are you ready to be destroyed? Oh, please don't hurt me. I mean, I finally got some cards. Let's have a card battle. Please say no, please say no, please say no, please say no, please say no. Oh, that's a real relief. I mean, let down. I guess I'll find another opponent. Yes. Oh, no, 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 let's do it. Let's do it with four price cards. All right, it's the 10,000 volts deck versus my watery stop deck. Can it handle so many volts? Can I stop it? We'll see. <laughs> so we shuffle, we draw seven, neither, really. <laughs> well, that's pretty rare. Yeah, it's his hand. And we both reshuffle. Like the game never even started. <laughs> uh, we got something this time. Mm. Mm. That double colorless is really tempting to just go straight for the dragon air, so we are going to start with the pound and then finish with the slapping. <laughs> Ooh, that's Aptos though. That could that could cause me a little ire, but we'll see. Let's plop that on there, and pound. Let's use our tail, slap it on the forehead, that counts as a pound for Dratini. That will do. That will do. Alright, so... Uh-huh. That's the power of double colorless energy. And we slam. Heads. Tails. <laughs> it's the average of 30, as you would expect. Alright, and then next time I get a water energy. We get the Hyper Beam, and we start wiping the energy off the Zapdos. Hopefully. Just need any sort of- ooh, Professor Oak will do. So yeah, I was gonna say, next time I can put the water energy. Um... Mmm... Should I trade the Wigglytuff for a Jigglypuff and then potentially draw into another Wiggly? I probably should. Probably. That's what I'm going for. I'm just gonna try it out, see how things go. And Professor Oak. I've got nothing else to trade, and I'll get more benefits out of using Professor Oak right now, so. There it is! <laughs> right at the top! Um. Hmm. But at the very least, I got a Hyper Beam. So we're gonna discard that. And now the Zapdos is kinda stuck. If you would be wise not to put any more energy on the Zapdos, yeah. Because the Zapdos is not going anywhere now. Alright, so... We're gonna immediately just go Wiggly. I should also probably dump out the stuff ahead of time as well. Just because, and... Make sure that Zapdos does not retreat. There we go. I mean, it'll give him an extra turn to... Oh, he can still retreat! <laughs> I was gonna say, give him an extra turn to do some powering up if it wants to, but... Well! Well, he had scoop up ready and waiting. Ooh! That could actually be a detriment to my Dragonair, but we'll see. Now oh, it's only gonna do 10 damage, so I guess I'll continue hyper beaming then. Probably, and I got another Professor Oak. Ah... Uh, you know what? I'm probably gonna get an energy removal out of that if I Professor Oak, so... I could... Probably incapacitate. Nope, I can't. I was gonna say, like, permanently incapacitates. But alas, alas, I gave up all those energies for one energy. Uh, in the hopes of an energy removal, but I can still, yeah, energy removal that Raichu anyway, so. And he may do 30, maybe. Oh, uh, he did. Oh, you stinker. <laughs> I can still keep him down energy wise, though. Oh, there we go. There we go! <laughs> that will do. And now the Raichu is incapacitated because as he keeps attaching energy to Raichu, I'll just keep sucking him away, so it is more beneficial indeed to move them to others, some sort of critter. There is some more energy. And I actually <laughs> kind of forgot to attach an energy card last turn, didn't I? Well, anyway, I should go for the slam now to really put the pressure on him, because if I knock it out, Yes, I did, because then he'll be I'll have to put something in that isn't ready to fight, which is the Zapdos, and uh, yeah, <laughs> Hyper Beam. <laughs> 
Yeah, he's, he's still got a bunch of turns for his, you know, to get some bench Pokemon, which he may very well do, but... Oh, okay, there there we go, there he goes. <laughs> but I was gonna say, if he doesn't, I'm, I'm definitely gonna be able to knock out the Zapdos. Um, like, even if he had double cultless energy, Zapdos still requires three lightning energy, so I'm always going to go for the lightning energy on any sort of dealio there. And... That's all he could do. Wait, 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 hold on a sec. Did you just attach another... He attached a lightning to Zapdos? Hmm... Not sure I agree with that move. But anyway... <laughs> I guess I could go for another Dragonair. Because why not? But yeah, I'll just Hyper Beam that away and call it a turn. <laughs> Maybe he's hoping that I'll choose something else and <laughs> then I'll be able to switch. Because, you know, the Zapdos requires three energy cards for the retreat. Yeah. Uh, guess who is out again? <laughs> uh, you know, I'll go for the slam this time, because maybe I can knock it out outright. The two heads. Wow, I did. Alright. So, yeah, Hyper Beam is really keeping him down here. <laughs> so, yeah, the powering up of other critters at that point was definitely wise. Well, Jolteon could could do some damage here. Oh, it does! Oh, man! I gotta get that other Dragonair out soon, don't I? <laughs> uh, actually, I could also finish off with Wigglytuff after I do a Hyper Beam to knock out an energy car. He's gotta be, gotta be running low on energy soon, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, you had the Professor Oaks, but... Still! But still! <laughs> I'm just sucking energy every turn! <laughs> And... And... <laughs> that, that energy you just put on Jolteon is going to be discarded then. Uh, yeah, we're going to go go for that. Might as well. Also, probably I might as well do this. And for maximum do the waving power, i put that last Pokemon in the last slots. There we go. We got the Electabuzz, and he knows how to use it. It's probably gonna just end up scooping up. Uh, maybe. I don't know if he'll be able to. Oops, I should. Actually, yeah. Should build it, at least see what we get. And I should also probably, just in case of some sort of incredible turnaround that he's gonna pull off at the last second with the heart of the cards guiding him. I don't know. <laughs> okay, oh, he's got the scoop up! <laughs> He's still in it! He's still in it! <laughs> uh, Thunder Punch, he might be tending himself. If he does, that's game over, but he did not, so... He is hanging on by a thread, and if he gets Tails on the next turn, or he doesn't switch... Yeesh. Do the wave. <laughs> so yeah, that's, I'm just gonna continually do 60 here. Alright, he did the switch! And putting it on Eevee, just kind of stalling out as long as he can, I suppose. Do the wave. <laughs> this is like everything is just out of range of Wigglytuff's KO. <laughs> just out of range, but now his side looks like this. And that it, it Electabuzz has got two retreat costs, so he kind of put him kind of in a stuck position. And I got energy removal, by the way. <laughs> I don't know why he even bothered. Alright, that's a win. I'm sorry for bullying you, I just, I'm just trying to test my deck, man. I'm just trying to test my deck. <laughs> I guess you really don't de defeat GR number 4 by luck alone, yes. Yes. <laughs> um, Clefairy Doll... Okay. <laughs> Another Legends. Probably more duplicates. Yeah. Ooh, double colorless. Always nice to see. <laughs> okay, let's, <laughs> let's move on. I wondered if we won by luck, but I see now that it was all skill. Yes, m maybe. No, I, was, <laughs> I think I'm winning games pretty skillfully for the most part. <laughs> Except Steve. <laughs> I couldn't wait any longer. Remember before Mint? I said that once I got my real deck back, we could have a true duel. Well, I was given my deck back. I also have some new booster packs. It's the start of a new era of electrifying battles. No. My deck is complete once more, so the situation is perfect to me. I'll be here happily waiting duels anytime you like, Mint. Alright. 
So this is it. Let's fight Mint, otherwise I'm gonna fall asleep. This is the true test of our water stop at deck. Can it defeat the Master of Lightning? Because Steve clearly was not. <laughs> the terms haven't changed. He'll still use six prize cards. You know the strength of my deck after this fight. Or you'll know, excuse me. Zapsplosion deck. Let's go. And hopefully we'll be able to win. Oh, what? Oh. oh. Well, that's not a good start for him. Well, actually, it's fine. He just reshuffles. <laughs> Let's just see what we have here. Um, yeah, Pokemon Trader is very nice to see. Um, num -num 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 -num. I should probably go for the Dragonair. <laughs> and plop that on there. And I'll see what else we draw, because I might want to trade something else away. So here we go. The start of the true tests of my ultimate water... Well, okay, it's not my, my ultimate water deck. I need more cards to <laughs> make it the ultimate, but still. It's the ultimate of what I can build at this moment in time. And we pound. So we won't be able to attack a Dragonair on the next turn if we do evolve it, so... Probably shouldn't, unless we have to. We probably should evolve it now, because it could get two heads again. <laughs> Just gotta play to what's... Ooh, play to what's going on. Um... Well... Should I? Because if I... If I discard the water and it's all for naught... You know, it's... it's you know? <laughs> at first, at the very least, I need my... I need my dragon. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the most useful part of my strategy going on right here. So I'm gonna not attach something and hope I get a double colorless with Professor Oak. That's what I'm thinking about. And chances are I'll get the water back anyway, but no. Alright, so I guess I'm gonna have to wait. Uh, seal will go on the bench. I could have Professor Oak again, but I don't wanna... Yeah, I got the Wiggly. So I'm gonna hold off. <laughs> The Wiggly could be the end of times for his lightning arsenal. <laughs> and he'll get two heads again. No, so Jotini would have been safe. But I, I couldn't have taken that risk because I had the potential for the Dragonair, you know? Plop that on there. And... Yeah, I'll go for the Slam right now and think about other stuff. Maybe I could just outright knock it out. No. Yeah, I didn't think so. It's usually only one head. But alas, alas. <laughs> and, oh, oh, oh. A little bit of extra scratch damage for the beautiful dragon. Alright, so anyway, I should probably now unveil my surprise. And plop everything into play. Get the wiggly there, Professor Oak. <laughs> Because now that I can basically dump out my entire hand, I might as well. And... Well... Uh, I guess I'll put them both on. I suppose... Actually, be on. Yeah, I should probably should have build first. Uh, oh yeah, the top poopers. <laughs> that's right, that's right. I plopped it on the Wiggly in preparations. Oh, man! <laughs> I said you usually get one head, but I got zero! Not one or two, zero! <laughs> like, of all the sides, for it to decide to flip two twice, it chose that one! <laughs> Alright. And... Yeah, I think we're still okay, just in general, because we got the Wiggly a coming. Bench is full, so I can't plop that on ahead of time. And let's go for the Slam. I don't want to overpower up the Dragonair, because you might be able to knock it out by having a bunch of Voltorb, uh, you know, just chaining energy together and whatnot, yeah, so... Oh, oh, yep, there it is. <laughs> As expect to see the group spark, 20 damage times the number of Voltorb in play, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, that's okay, you did well, Dragonair. Wigglytuff is up next, Lapras is getting plopped down there, and the wave begins! <laughs> 
Uh, you knew it was coming. If I've got colorless versus lightning, I'll go for it. Um, that that Voltorb is now going to have a little bit less power in that regard, unless he has another Voltorb hiding somewhere. But that mag did not work either. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> and yeah, Group Spark. See, so yeah, that's not quite going to be the same dealio as it was last time because yeah there's less voltorb one voltorb actually going along here so now we're gonna go oh no oh, the, oh yeah that's he only attached the voltorb ooh ooh mmm <laughs> ooh oh, I'm gonna go Pokemon Trader we're gonna go Jigglypuff to another Wiggly <laughs> <laughs> Is this deck stoppable? Is it stoppable? I don't know. <laughs> Do the wave. And double colorless. <laughs> That'll even speed things along quicker. Um, it could do more magnetism stuff, but it, it was unsuccessful. And yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be end, end up taking all the prize cards this game just based on... You know, the, what he's got out there, but the thing about it is that I don't... I, I got him down so hard with this deck that it's, it's kind of in trouble whatever he puts out. And the Magnets... Is successful! Finally-ish! It's not going to help that much, I mean, I'm just going to... Just going to do the wave soon enough, but... <laughs> energy removal... Uh huh. Yeah, really stuck. I thought he actually. I wasn't paying that much attention. He, I thought he attached an energy, but no, no energy removal. Yep, on my Wiggly. Oh no, he did it on the other Wiggly. Okay, just kind of preparing for the few. Ooh, <laughs> look at this hand. <laughs> oh no, I don't. I don't want to attach it to that. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I was gonna say I, I was gonna attach it to the other Wiggly tough. But yeah, look at that hand with the um. I got double colorless too, because I got energy removal to constantly keep him down, while I know he doesn't have energy, and yeah, just, and he didn't even cause paralysis there, that's even worse, so I could plop this on anything that I want to, <laughs> but I don't really have to, do I? No, sorry Isaac, the wiggly was just too, too powerful. <laughs> You've defeated my deck, what a shock! <laughs> oh, the puns. And the Pidgeots with the wind of Niss. Mm, none. Assault with the somethingness. Haunter Niss, probably the best version of Haunter. Rent all of the effects of the deck in doing damage. Because of the power of transparency, and also Nightmare automatically puts it to sleep, so... Yeah, it's got stalls, but that, well, possible stall, like Magmar Smokescreen. And it's got the power of damage prevention, possibly, as well. It's all coin flips, but chances are you're going to get some of those as heads. I guess I gotta re- uh, I mean, I want heads for you, tails for the opponent. I guess I gotta recharge the power of my deck after this loss. I'll admit my loss. I have some ideas to polish up my deck, though. Uh, let's fight Minto. Same dialogue. Alright. Oh, did I check you? Structure dialogue. Yeah, well, didn't matter. <laughs> Alright, since that didn't take too long, I'm gonna go over to Ishihara's house and see if he's up for doing some trading. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good afternoon. Would you like to trade cards? Right now, I'm looking for a Clefairy level 15 card. Wait, do I have one of those? It's a Clefairy with the attack Follow Me. I think I might have that. I'm, I'm offering my rare flying Pikachu card in exchange. You happen to have a Clefairy level? I'll try it. Oh my, thanks. Let's trade right away. I got the flying Pikachu promo card. He's got other trades, but he'll trade more stuff later on. I don't think he'll do the other trades right away. But I just thought, you know, as long as I was doing this part pretty quick, because my water deck is seemingly unstoppable, I figured I will go over here and, like, on one of the parts that I had a pretty quick part. You're welcome. You're welcome. 
Uh, well, hello Mint, welcome to my house. I'm not looking for... Okay, so yeah, no more trades right now. And unlike the, uh, the first game here, the, he... Like, you can't just reset the game and he'll go back to wanting to do a trade. So, yeah, it's just like... Whatever, whenever he wants to trade, he wants to trade. I have not been able to figure out when he wants to trade, but he's got, I think, two more trades. But here, I'll show you really quick. I'm gonna write in the diary, and then we're gonna, quote-unquote, turn our Game Boy on and off. <laughs> there we go. Continue game. Let's see if he's got something. Hello, Mint. Welcome to my house. I'm not looking for any particular cards at the moment, I'm afraid. I may be seeing some in the future, though, so stop by later, won't you? In the meantime, feel free to read the books I wrote in my library. The information I, shall I share will surely help you with win card battles. I didn't read that earlier because I figured he just repeats that anyway. But since he's repeating it now, I might as well, you know? You know? <laughs> so with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we go flop on over to the fighting club.